The name Eileen Galvin paints the perfect picture of what the woman's role is in Silent Hill 4. Both names are anglicized Irish names. Eileen means shining or light. Galvin means white. Together, they present the image of a character who represents a shining white light in the darkness of Silent Hill. Eileen is 23 years old. She wears a jean skirt and a pastel tank top, at least for the first portion of the game. While Henry is exploring Walter's worlds the first time through, we see Eileen through the hole in the wall and the peephole wearing this outfit. But just before she's attacked, she changes into her outfit for the party she mysteriously discusses quite a few times. There's heavy focus on this event she's going to. She mentions it multiple times, once in the hallway when picking up her groceries, and in a optional scene in her room speaking on the phone to a friend. We even see her dressing for the event before Walter attacks her. It's a major part of her story that before she was attacked, she had plans. The reason is because it juxtaposes her to our protagonist. Henry Townshend is someone who, for reasons that are left ambiguous, is afraid to leave home. He doesn't appear to have any friends or any kind of social life. Eileen, however, is incredibly social. We see her speaking to both Frank and Richard at various points. She's on the phone with her friend. She's going out on the town. She's a well-adjusted young adult with strong bonds in her community, the exact opposite of Henry. The story of Silent Hill 4 is fear. The fear of being hurt, the pain of being unloved. Henry doesn't leave home because he's afraid, presumably afraid of being hurt. It almost appears as if Eileen confirms his suspicions. She plans to go out on the town and is attacked. But she's attacked at home, and Henry, too, is attacked and imprisoned in his own home. Staying away from the outside world didn't protect him. So if you'll be hurt either way, being social or antisocial, then why not make friends instead? Eileen's character presents Henry with an example to attempt to follow, as he presumably does when he leaves the apartment to see her in the hospital. We also see that here, she changes from her dress back into her original outfit. This tells us she's safe again, as the purple dress has become associated with Walter's attack. But it also presents us with the possibility that Eileen was drawn into the dream world before she changed clothes. Eileen represents the best aspects of people, of idealized humanity embodied in the concept of motherhood. Despite her young age and the fact that she is presumably not a mother herself, the concept of mother in Silent Hill 4 isn't actual motherhood or the parental aspects of the role, instead is represented by two basic things, kindness and love. Eileen is an incredibly kind person. In the moments after being brutally beaten, she struggles to move across the floor of her apartment, a long way according to the streaks on the floor, to speak to and comfort young Walter. She has sympathy for the boy, seemingly knowing he's the same as the person who attacked her, associating them in dialogue, such as, that boy, he's coming in, when discussing Walter's attack. It's important to note because it makes her kindness that much more noble. It's easy to feel sympathy and love for an innocent boy, much harder to feel the same kind of pity for the man who brutally assaulted you. Her inclusion in the ritual is due to her meeting Walter during her childhood. He was a homeless vagabond whom Eileen saw and took pity on. She gave him her doll, the only gift Walter ever received which he apparently kept until the events of the game. Dialogue during the scene reveals that it's also Eileen's father's birthday, and a specific line of dialogue has double meaning for the scene with Walter. 
Eileen asks her mother, do you think he'll like it? Referring to the gift she got for her father, and Eileen's mother replies, of course he will. He will love it because you chose it. Obviously, tying back to the gift she just gave Walter. It's clear Walter feels differently about Eileen than he does other victims. They all die in different ways, but most of these methods are incredibly painful and deliberate, associated with their role in the sacraments. Cynthia is cut to pieces, representing the burning passion of temptation. Richard is electrocuted as a criminal for skinning Mike. Eileen, however, is apparently beaten with Walter's bare hands. There's no tool, no distance between the two of them. It's incredibly personal, and it's also the only attack that young Walter intervenes with, despite Andrew begging for his help earlier in the game. This attack, this one victim, Walter is conflicted about. It's because of how genuinely good she is. She's kind to everyone, including Henry. During the game, she'll ask if Henry's all right, and she'll fall to her knees, reaching for him if he dies in game. She's selfless and kind in a terrible situation. In the end, even if she's not being controlled by Walter, she decides to leave Henry and face him. In an attempt to likely spare Henry more pain, and try and help the suffering ghost. Before she leaves, she touches Henry's cheek and smiles, an incredibly maternal action. She's trying to protect everyone around her. Eileen represents life. Unlike Henry's apartment, her room is full of color. There are multiple patterns throughout the room, on the walls and floors, and there are plants scattered about. Her clothes have colors, feminine and light, Unlike Henry's bland white clothing and Walter's blood-soaked jacket, even her dress covered in blood is a vibrant purple, the color of royalty. She's portrayed as very pure, almost divine compared to other characters. She's the only victim, truly the only character, in the game never presented as a corpse or ghost. We see Henry's body as a haunting, and we see Walter's corpse in the secret room. The other victims all appear as ghosts at some point, but Eileen's ghost is never hinted at. What she would have appeared as after dying is never portrayed. Her possible death isn't even seen on screen during the final battle. The story of Silent Hill 4 is the consequences of cruelty and the power of kindness. Walter becomes this monster because of years of abuse and suffering, a lack of kindness and love in his life. The only way he can be defeated is through kindness. It is Henry's willingness to protect Eileen at great cost to himself, young Walter's love for her, that allows the sacraments to be delayed. It's Eileen's kindness in the first place, giving the doll to Walter and cementing his love for her in his heart, that likely creates this affection young Walter has. Eileen and Henry supporting and caring for one another through the game Keeping each other alive is what leads to their possible survival. But if Henry doesn't care, if he leaves her behind and lets her get hurt, she's more likely to die, and thus so is he. The good endings of the game are only guaranteed if Henry, the player, protects and cares for Eileen.